Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of people that dislike what I have to say, but I don't know. There's enough That's life. actual industry people that don't hate me that I, I surely I'm not like the worst person to have had an opinion on a movie, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you've done so much in the space. So it's like, to me, it's kind of interesting to ask, like, what, what are you most excited about going forward? What kind of opportunities are you most interested in pursuing? Um, or if you even think that way, well, maybe I'm, you don't even think that I'm way. Working on a, I'm working on a project, but I'm not going to say what it is. Okay. Um, but yeah. I'd like to do more. Um, I'd like to work with like an actual crew that I trust. Um, which is difficult because I've done so much. Everything I've done is solo. I don't have an agent. I don't have a manager. I don't have a publicist. Um, I don't exist in that like Hollywood world where you have to like do everything through someone else, sort of thing. Yeah. Um, and it's also difficult finding people that are dependable and or talented or both is the big one. Um, and I don't know. Yeah, it's just it's just a matter of like needing to have. A good a good project that you can like prove yourself off of to the point where like other talented, dependable people will want to work with you, sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I'd like to I'd like to do like actual narratives. You know, I'd like to set some time aside for like writing, um, directing. You know, I mean, you have so many hours of watching movies, reviewing movies, analyzing movies, understanding movies. I mean, naturally, the path would be to make your own movie, right? I mean, would that be the ultimate yeah. goal? To, to have your own feature film um yeah i mean who knows i mean baby steps it doesn't have to be like a feature film right away it can yeah. be some other medium or format uh that involves film um and you know i already i don't know my music video turned out pretty good it was yeah the entire the entire uh basis for it was me being able to film something whenever i wanted by myself and not needing any crew or anything um right and i could just edit shoot the whole thing myself and it worked out um but there's only so many projects you can film like that um that one just happened to work out thematically i guess do you get like criticism like oh hey this guy just reviews movies like he can't make his own stuff and and that's probably happened a ton over the years right or i mean that's the default thing to say when someone speaks negatively about something that you've attached your identity to i guess yeah um yeah it doesn't really matter people say that all the time and you know like most people are right like um it's not like it's not like uh there's a lot of people that talk about movies but only so many that are actually talented at making them but even though even i don't know there's people that are talented at making movies that also have shit taste i think they're just two <laughs> different things <laughs> right, yeah. right. um it is it, it's a lot easier to be an individual and uh you know have a microphone and edit your own videos and rip footage than it is to command an entire crew of like 12 to like hundreds of people yeah um on a on a day right and you know this is obviously a very different budget it's a very different environment. It's a, you know, like I don't live in LA. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, excuses, but then um, the trick is just trying to find the right way to alleviate enough excuses to be able to actually create Do something. It. Have you ever done one of those um, forty eight hour film festival things? Maybe. Yeah, and it was bullshit. Um, <laughs> it was in Edmonton, and. Um, I I I didn't I wound up not doing it because um they were forcing me to work with someone else's script because it was like they had it was it was a big scheme actually it was a big scam my brother wound up doing the whole thing and they like stole the footage or something I don't oh, remember really? the guy like disappeared it was it was nonsense however um that uh, there is something I created in forty eight hours uh, if you search yep. on YouTube. Uh, don't move dark ocean films dark ocean films all one word you'll find an upload click on the one that says 2007 because youtube for some reason uh, a lot of old uploads like so it was from like click on the one that says 2007 in the title a lot of old uploads youtube just fucking ruined for some reason i don't know why don't move so dark ocean films one. yeah it was why like um, it? send me a link send me a link in the discord chat 
I'll send you a link right now, actually. Oh, yeah, because I haven't um, seen this. My my suggestions might be a little different. This is when I was... 2007, I was... Six... I was born in 91, so I must have been like 15... Oh, wow. Old. I can't do math. <laughs> um, but it's something... Let's see. How do I get in the chat? I'm Discord? I'm, Just to make... I yeah, full message. screened it. Yeah, I uh, escape. The problem... Here we are. There we are. There it is. Um, so that was filmed and edited in less than 44 hours. It was for um, a friend's, like a group of friends, one of them being a sister of a friend also. Uh, it was for their drama project. They wanted to create a horror film. I basically just like wrote it and um, I don't remember how long it took to wrote, write, but it wasn't very long. But um, yeah, I literally I was exporting it onto a DVD as uh, she was like going to school and I fucking popped it out and gave it to her. <laughs> Basically just did their whole project for them because I like filming shit. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. It's like, it's not good. There's a lot of cheese. The acting sucks. Uh, it's There's annoying twists and whatever. Right. But I think like if you're watching it, like I, I think that, I don't know, there's some like good editing and framing decisions not to like toot my own horn, <laughs> but you know, given the yeah. age, I think. It's not like it's not terribly shot for just a person with a camera. Yeah. And you can tell there's one you can tell when I'm in the frame the uh the camera work gets really shitty because someone else is holding it. I'm trying to find I, you, yeah. I mean, like <laughs> yeah, it might just it might might sound like really pompous, but it's accurate, okay? Yeah. Are you the kid with the sw uh, sweater with the dark sweater? Uh yeah, at the beginning. Um, yeah. I play I play two characters. I show up as police officer later <laughs> and it's really cheesy that's great i mean those those 40 hour film festivals are really fun i have no film background and i have a friend who who did uh he has a master's in whatever film here at the university of windsor he did it for his final uh -huh. project and he invited me and it was just a lot of fun uh -huh. like you get to see the whole process of you know they stay up literally for two days making this thing it's five minutes <laughs> yeah like uh limitations can bring out a lot of interesting things yeah this was just like a group of friends that like everyone had their own gear or whatever and everyone was on board everyone knew their role so when it's when it's all like flowing it's kind of like kind of fun i mean